got to the fact that the notebook you are you 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 use for writing has come to you after a long process of manufacturing it started its life as a part of a tree it was cut down and transported uh, transported to the pulp mill the there the wood of the tree was proce processed and converted into wood pulp the wood pulp was mixed with chemicals and finally changed into paper by machines this paper found its way to the press where ink made from chemicals was used to print the lines on the pages the pages were then bound in the form of the notebook packed and sent to the market for sale finally it reached reached your hands excellent which chapter uh, page, uh, page number 50 chapter of industries so that uh, they are talking how how the how and how the notebooks were made so first uh, the the they were from the trees they cut down the trees and they uh, they transported the pulp to the Uh, uh, to the factory and which was processed into wood pulp then the wood pulp was mixed with ke chemicals and it changed to finally it changed to the paper by machines then this paper was uh, taken to the uh, ink uh, was was means the ink was printed means there was line printed on the papers then the pages were uh, bound or joined together to form a notebook and this is how they reached our hands Uh, Raj, Raj Kumar, you want to share the screen? The new yes, book, sir. Okay. Not the new book, the old book only. The new book is not a uh, our page. Okay, then share now. One, one participant can share at a time. My book, page number fifty, is the exercises for chapter four. Uh. Oh, well, Akhil, you understood what is secondary activity or manufacturing activity? Also, which uh, Prabhjot explained. Yes. Now, the secondary activity or the manufacturing activity is the second activity or third, second stage after primary. Mute your audio. Which changes the raw material into products of more value for the people. When the raw material goes to the industries, then they change it into a useful articles that is known as which has a value that is known as secondary activity or manufacturing activity. Like pulp of the tree or paper is changed into paper and paper into notebook. That is the manufacturing or that is the industries secondary activity. Two stages are there. First, they made the pulp. Pulp comes, pulp they change the paper, and then paper is changed into notebook. The paper made from pulp and cloth made from cotton has a value and added to them at each stage of the manufacturing process. When the when the cotton is changed into thread, it has a value. Then thread is changed into a cloth, it has a value. In this process, the finished product has more value and utility. Then the raw material that it is made from. If we use the pulp, we cannot use the pulp. Pulp has no value for us. But when the pulp is changed into paper, it has a value for us. So that's why many this become very uh, raw material of no use. But manufactured wood or the finished product is of more value to us. If cotton is given to us, no value to us. But we don't know to make it how to make thread, how to make cloth. If someone gives us the raw cotton, we cannot use it. No value for it, us. But if the thread is given to us, we can use the thread for many things. And if the cloth is given to us, cloth has many values to us, so we can use the cloth for many things. So finished product has more value than the raw material for us. More value and more utility. That's why. All the raw materials are changed into a useful article, and those are useful articles we use in our daily life. Now our chapter is industry. 
industry refers to a production activity or economic activity that is concerned with the production of goods extraction of minerals and the provision of services that all comes under the industries example they have given the iron industry industry production of goods coal mining industries extraction of coal tourism industries service product provider so these are the three examples of industries refers to the economic activity that is concerned with the production of goods extraction of minerals and the provision of services and three examples are given there steel production is the production of goods coal mining industry is the extraction of mineral coal or minerals and tourism industry means service provider maybe transport also comes under the service provider so these are the known as industries which gives us now the important part comes classification of industry how the industries are classified this is important thing for you because in the 9th and 10th also you will study all this classification of industries you should now not know now only so it will be helpful to you okay and i will screen share already there na screen share one participant can share at a time it is showing disabled all the same Separate. One participant can as a messenger. All participants. Hello. It now it came and went. Take the uh, host. Okay. Sir, make them as host. Then they can. Sir, it came and went. came try now no sir before it came what? and then sir what do again are you it's enable now very good upar above above little bit more or more more bring this raw material and all this Take the second page. Ah, uh, this page. Okay, good. Now the classification of industries. Ah, over there, kid. Over there, Dulla. Read. Industries can be classified on the basis of raw materials. size and ownership uh raw materials industries may be agro based mineral based marine based and forest based depending on the type of raw materials they use agro based industries use the plant and animal based products as their raw materials food processing vegetable oil cotton textile dairy products and uh, leather industries are examples of agro based industries mineral based industries are primary industries that use mineral ores as their raw materials the products of these industries feed their uh, uh, the products of these industries feed other industries iron made from iron ore is the product of mineral based industry this is used as raw material for the manufacture of a number of other products such as heavy machinery building materials and railway coaches marine based industries use products from the uh, from the sea and oceans as raw materials industries uh, processing seafood or manufacturing fish oil are some examples forest based industries utilize forest produce as raw materials 
The industries associated with forest are pulp and paper. Uh, pharma pharmaceuticals, pharmaceuticals. Uh, furniture and buildings. Size. It refers to the amount of capital invested, a number of people employed, and the volume of production. Based on size, industries can be classified into small scale and large scale industries. Cottage or household industries are a type of small scale industry where the products are manufactured by hand by the art artisans. Basket weaving, pottery and other handicrafts are examples uh, are examples of cottage industry. Small scale industries use lesser amount of ca uh, capital and technology as compared to large scale industries that uh, that produce large volumes of products. Investment Investment of capital is higher and the technology used is superior in large scale industries. Silk weaving and food processing industries are small scale industries. Production of production of uh, automobiles and he heavy machinery are large scale industries. Overship, ownership. Industries can be classified into private sector, state-owned or public sector, joint sector, and cooperative sector. Private sector industries are owned and operated by individuals or a group of individuals. The public sector industries are owned by and operated by the government, such as Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and Steel Authority of India Limited. Joint sector industries are owned and operated by the state and individuals or a group of Hindus. Maruti Udyog Limited is an example of joint sector industry. Cooperative uh, sector industries are owned and operated by the producers or suppliers of raw materials, workers or both. Anand Mill, Anand Milk Union Limited and Sudha Dairy are a success stories of a cooperative venture. Okay, now classification of industries. Uh, there are mainly four types of classification industries on the basis of raw material. Raw material means the product which directly comes from the agriculture or from mines. So it has first is agro-based industry that means all the raw material is available through agriculture. The raw material which is available through agriculture is known as agro-based industry, which is agricultural based industries. Where they use plants and animal products, animal based products as raw material, like food processing, vegetable oil, cotton textile, dairy products, leather industries. These are the examples of agro-based industries where the raw material is coming from the plants or animal-based product. Second type is mineral-based industries where the primary industry that use mineral ore as their raw material is known as mineral-based industries. These are the products which are fed to the industries. Industry made it and industry is used it like iron ore, iron made from iron ore. It's the product of mineral based industry, but this iron is used as raw material for manufacture of number of other products by the industry themselves. So this is the product which industry produces then as a raw material, then the industry uses it as a, as a material. Like heavy machinery, building mm -hmm. materials, railway coaches, this, in this iron is used, made from the iron ore by the industry only. Then the marine based industry, which is based on the ocean. Which will use the product from the ocean and seas as raw material, like seafood, manufacturing fish oil, or other examples are there of management. Then these are forest based industry, which is using the product which you get from the forest as raw material, like pulp and paper, pharmaceuticals, that is medicine, furniture, building, because we get the 
timber or wood from there. The rubber is there. Many things are we are getting from the forest. So those industries are known as forest industry. They use the raw material which we get from forests as a product. So that is the classification on the basis of raw material. Agro-based, mineral-based, marine-based, forest-based. Then there is division of a classification industry on the basis of size. Size means capital invested, number of people employed, and the volume of production, how much production is done. On the basis of that, the industries are classified on the basis of size. So on the basis of size, there are only two types of industry, that is small scale industry or the large scale industry. In the small scale industry, cottage or household industry the, in the villages in India, uh, the houses are producing goods or manufacturing goods by hand. But the artists are like basket weaving, pottery, and other handicrafts. These are the example of cottage industry. Then there is a small scale industry. This use lesser amount of capital and technology as compared to large scale industry that produce large volume of products. By the name only you can know, large scale, scale industry. That means they are producing good in large number, <coughs> heavy material they are use, producing. And a small scale industry is producing small goods. So naturally they will need less amount in comparison to the large scale industry because large scale industry has to invest so much of money in machinery, technology, employees, material, raw material, many things are there. So in high industries, investment is very high. And technology use is superior, like silk weaving, food processing industries are the small scale industries, and automobile production, heavy machinery are the large scale industries. So they need more money, more investment, more labor, more technology, more sophisticated machines, so they have to spend more money. In small scale industry, less labor is used, technology is not such used. High technology cannot, can, it can do with small technology also, and investment of capital is very less because. Most of the things are made by hand, so no need of machinery. These are the small scale industries. Then the third type of industry is ownership. On the name of owners, private sector, state owned or public sector, joint sector and cooperative sector, there are four types of industries on the basis of ownership. Ownership means Malik. Who are the owners? Who have the, who own those industries? By private sector, you can know private sector means who are owned and operated by individuals or group of individuals. Like you are having the, you have set up an industry yourself, or two or three people you join together and set up the industry. You are the only owner. You are you are profit is yours, loss is yours, everything is yours. So that is known as private sector industry. That is produced. Uh, established by individuals or group of individuals. If I, if you set up industry, you are the also owner of that industry. So that is known as private sector industry. Then the public sector industries are those which are owned and operated by the government. In which the government is establishing it and operating it like Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, Steel Authority of India Limited. These are all public sector industries in which the government has established it and they are operating. Profit and loss is of the government. What to produce, how to produce, how much to produce is the decision of the government. In private sector, it is your decision how to produce, whom to produce, and for how to produce, what to produce, and for whom to produce. It is your prerogative because you are the owner of that. You have spent the money on establishing the industry. In the public sector, government is establishing the government is to provide employment, not the profit, to earn more profit. The basis of establishing industries by the government is to provide employment. And profit is not the base. But in private sector, profit is main. Because you are spending the money, so you need more, more money to be earned. So there you will decide what to produce, how to produce, for whom to produce, and how much cost will be there. When the public sector industry is set up, they see that employment should be provided plus minimum profit and more benefit to the people. 
then there is joint sector industry which is owned and operated by both state as well, both by the government as well as by the individual or group of individuals like maruti udyog limited in which government has also spent some money japan government was also spent some money before now japan government is not there only indian government is there plus private individuals who have spent their money in establishing the maruti udyog behind the maruti cards so there is a joint venture in which government has also put their money and individuals have also put their money both together are running this industry so this is known as joint sector industry cooperative sector this is owned and operated by the producers and suppliers or whatever that is milk industry like amul in which producers that is those who have established that industry plus supplier those who are supplying the milk to the Maru, uh, amul butter or anand milk union limited or to the dairy here th those who are producing the milk those who are having the cows and sheep and goats and buffaloes they are providing the milk to the anand milk union or amul dairy and the producer who have spent their money to establish this industry they together are running this industry that's why it is known as cooperative that cooperation is there between the supplier and the producer those who are producing the milk and those who are supplying the milk both are the member of this owned by both of them profit is equally shared by the supplier and the producer they are the profit is equally shared by the supplier as who are supplying the milk as well as who are producing the milk or producing the milk products in amul dairy so both are earning getting the part of profit so that is known as cooperative industry cooperative sector means uh, example the anand milk union limited that is amul dairy in gujarat and sudha dairy in delhi these are the cooperative ventures you will see in india many stores are there cooperative stores which are supplying important item like vegetables milk other products also at less rate than the market what you are getting in market in 5 rupees in, in the cooperative sector you will be getting at 3 at 3 or 3 and 1/2 rupees because they are directly getting from the supplier from the industries from the agriculture from the producers directly they are getting it so their profit is less uh, their price is less in comparison to whenever there is a crisis in india of onion or potato or tomato anything this cooperative sector comes forward and they supply these materials to the public at cheaper rate in comparison to the market because they are getting directly from the supplier so that's why they are getting it at less price so they are selling it at less less price so these are the classification for you now anyone can explain and you are going to explain one by one this raw material size and ownership i am kishan afan janizwar rizwar ubaid nawaz prabjot for wrong anyone ms basad all of you have now from next class if these videos are all closed i will remove every one of them i don't know if rani is sitting there or not i can't see him paris is sitting there or not i don't know anjala is sir i'm here sir i'm here anjala is sitting there or not i don't know Iran, I don't know. Iran is there or not? I don't know. Iran is there. Anyone can explain the factors 
uh, this classification of industries. So can I? Yes, excellent. So the this one factors affecting location of industry. Oh, you need to explain the classification of. Okay, so of ownership. No, the classification of industries come raw materials. Yes. So the classification of industries it is classified into three three uh, three types. The, on the basis of uh, raw raw materials, size, and ownership. So um, raw materials. Raw materials means it is uh, it is used from the uh, directly used from the nature, like from uh, minerals, from the agriculture, from the sea, from the forest. So one one type of uh, raw materials is agro based ag uh, industry industries so they produce they produce the raw materials from plants and animals like like vegetable oil cotton textiles and dairy products then the mineral based they make uh, they make stuff from the uh, mineral ores they they mine and then they get the uh, different different metals like iron from the iron ore gold from gold ore this this is also used by different industries for their growth so they are like the feeder of the other industries the examples examples are for heavy machinery for making build building materials railway coaches coaches stuff like that then marine based means from seas they will get the sea products from the oceans from fish oil and seafood the forest waste, these people go to the forest and they get the raw materials from there. From getting the pulp for the paper, uh, medicines, furnitures and buildings. Okay, This is for the raw materials, agro-based, mineral-based, marine-based and forest-based. So then the size. This, it is a size, it can be some some industries they are smaller and some are big for this regarding of what they produce and what they what they make for the small scale they need less technology and less people so it is in a in a small place like in a cottage cottage or household industries so this is examples are the basket weaving pottery and other handicrafts this is the easy ones not the ones that need more higher technology. The ones that have higher technology needed, it is the large scale industries, like for making silk weaving and food processing. This needs more, uh, more stuff to make more technology. So this is used for, uh, for many other bigger stuff. This is the most of the stuff maybe. And then it is on ownership. It can be, ownership can be classified into private sector, which means it is it is owned by some people or a group of people, and they they are the ones they have the they get the profit fully. They don't need to give uh, to other people. They also the loss they get they also need to they also get it. They don't the loss doesn't get divided between different people. It's only one person or one group. So the examples over here it says is the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited Steel. Seal Authority of India Limited, yeah, like that. And there is joint section, joint section uh, industries. So this is owned and operated by the state and the individuals. Means the it is divided. The profit, everything is divided. This is like the example given here is Maruti Adyog uh, Limited by the in by the Indian government and also by the by the people the the owners. Then the co cooperative sector. 